At this time, I'd like to call on Commissioner Raines to lead us in the invocation and the pledge, please. Let's pray. Father, we're so grateful for the liberties that we enjoy as American citizens. There's a lot that we disagree on as citizens, but the one thing we do agree on is that we are the freest nation on earth. We thank you for those freedoms. We thank you for the opportunity to come together as a government, a Republican form of government, where people choose their leaders. Pray God to grant us the wisdom here in this room tonight. Father, we ask a special prayer for the families of those children affected in the car crash today in Brooks County. I pray that we give comfort to the families of lost children. You said, Bless to those who are, for they will be comforted. So, God, I pray that you would comfort them. And for the one child that had to be light lighted, I pray that you would be with him. You would heal him in his body, give his family strength. Strengthen that community, I pray. We ask all these things in Christ's name. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Commissioner's uh, agenda item number four is minutes for approval from your work session of June the 24th to regular session of June the 25th. Uh, if there's no additions or deletions, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move we accept the minutes for the work session of June 24 and the regular session for June 25. We have a motion to approve. We are second. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Okay, agenda item number five is uh, public hearing. Case REZ 2013-07, Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, the request in this case is to change the zoning on the subject property, which is seen here on the northeastern corner of James Road and Lynn Haven, from R21 and R1 to R10 zoning. We believe the main motivation is to actually develop the property with an additional residence. You have various background and research within the packet, as well as the recommendations from staff and planning commission. The only update I think I would offer the commission at this point from yesterday's work session is that we actually do have a copy of the agreement where the applicant has signed the agreement that was spoken of yesterday regarding the covenants on the property. Um, I did speak with at least one representing member of the opposition and it appears they still um, are, are wanting for a condition to be applied by the commission. I told them about the commission's reservation of the work session about that condition and I believe that's where the case stands now. So we have a signed agreement, but still some debate about that, the condition from the opposition. Do we have any questions for staff? Okay. All right, hearing none, uh, at this time, I'd ask that if there's anyone in the audience that would like to speak against this request, Roger, please come forward and state your name and address, please. Kurt Sankins, 2109 Jeff's Place. I, I spoke with everyone in the neighborhood on that street, and no one wants Mr. Lovewood to build that house. And what he's trying to do, I took photos. He originally said that the house was going to face James Road, with that, that house would not face James Road. He's trying to face it in our subdivision. You want to cut the property down so small in our neighborhood, you have to have a half acre or an acre. And he's trying to cut it down and start piling houses on top of houses. I have a petition signed by everyone, and if you're interested, I, I have photos showing what he's trying to do. All, right. All of us, is, everyone in the neighborhood is concerned about our property value. We don't mind if he build, we just want him to do it the right way. And we also have our neighborhood covenant, all the rules and regulations of the neighborhood, house sizes, roof pitch, siding on the outside of the house and everything. And the way he started, when he first came to my house and asked me out, I, I was bored. But when he showed me where he was going to face the house, which is right in our neighborhood. We don't want it. And I, 
There are a lot of us here today, so the speaker can. Okay. Do you have any questions for the speaker? Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Um, would he allow us to pass those pictures around so the yes. all the commissioners can see what yes. you have there? Yeah, they just pass it around, please. Sure. Okay. okay, any other questions? Mr. Chairman, um, sir, sir, please take position back behind the podium, please. Earlier, we, we, we saw um, the covenant in which the applicant signed. Um, how, how does that play into what we're hearing now, Mr. Chairman? Well, it plays into it. My understanding is that he has signed an agreement that he will he will abide by the covenants in the subdivision. Is that correct, Mr. David? Yes, sir. Whatever those covenants are, whatever they say, roof pitch, square minimum square footage of house, those sort of things would be abided by by him signing that agreement. I yeah. guess is, is the applicant, I mean, are those in opposition of aware that he has Okay, signed? let's let's move through with our with our uh, speakers first, and then we'll, if we have questions for Mr. Davenport, then we'll come back to those. Okay. Save your questions, please. Any other questions for this thing? Okay, thank you, sir. Anyone else in the audience would like to speak against? If you would please come forward, ma'am. State your name and address, please. Yes, I'm Randy Dykes, 2095 Jason Circle. Um, like he said, he came up, he wanted us to show this picture of the house that he was going to build. Um, the way that it was explained, the red house is a piece of property he owns, and he says he's going to build another house. Well, we took that as understanding we were going to get rid of the old red house and build a new home on the property. Um, we were not under the understanding that he was going to separate the properties and attempt to build an additional residence literally right on top of the one he already owned, and uh, so he had no intention of getting rid of the house. Um, I, I'm on board. I, I don't mind people building in our neighborhood, but I don't see, given the piece of property that he wants to split, it being capable of meeting our covenants. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Does anyone else in the audience would like to speak against? Please come forward, sir. State your name and address. Been there since 2007, so our home value took a major hit from the economy. When, uh, we don't need anything else to drag it down. Uh, the the house there right now is already on less than three quarters of an acre. He's got a house. He's got a shed, uh, another I don't know if it's a carport or whatever. And now he's attempting to put another house in that small area. And that's pretty much all I have to say is that I don't want my own bag to drop anymore than what I already had. Okay. Any questions for this speaker? Okay, thanks, sir. All right, is there anyone else who would like to speak against this request? All right, we'll take one more. Come ahead, sir, and take your name and address, please. Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Baldwin. I live at 20, 2079 Lamb Road. Um, my house was the first house built in the neighborhood. I moved here from Portland, Oregon, and I've invested 230000 plus in my house and the land. I built on one acre, <clears throat> and the covenants, conditions, and restrictions require that each house had to have a one acre. And a new, new uh, subdivision has to have at least a half an acre. An acre is 43,560 square feet. He wants to put another house on 10,000 square feet. I don't think it's right. I think it would be better on property. Okay. Any questions for this speaker? Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, at this time, is there anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address. <laughs> Uh, uh, my house is what you talk about, uh, 24 
26th of January. So when I say I, I'm, I'm about my home, they probably have it in that, in, in that certain place. Right? They told me about the roof, the roof pitch was uh, uh, a five and a half twelve, and I changed that. And I, I, I said, uh, this is small or not, but if I go with the city water, I mean, there's county water and sewer. You could be able to go on a small or not. You know, because I, I won't go with the second county. side of the road, which is the northern three cul-de-sacs you see on the screen, are what was presented and what Mr. Leatherwood agreed to. Those covenants are different than the ones on the southern side of the road, which is the older portion of the neighborhood. Not by much, but it is a separate piece of it. It's a little bit older on the south side. So the covenants that they've agreed to are the ones that affect the north, uh, the northern cul-de-sac I think that the the covenants, the issue of the covenants is something that the property owner and the adjacent property owners have to agree to. The question before this board is, is this a legitimate use for this piece of property? And I think if we get too far beyond the scope of that question, then we have exceeded our authority as board of commissioners. So the question before this board is, is what he's wanting to do with that property an acceptable use for that piece of property? Um, I think the issue regarding the covenants is for a different, a different entity than, than this board. So I, I think it makes for interesting conversation and certainly a part of the issue, but I think that we would be wise to only consider whether or not what he's wanting to do with that property is a good use for that piece of property. Okay, do we have any other questions for Mr. Dad? Any other discussion amongst the commissioners? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion at this time. Ms. 
Chairman, I make the motion that uh, we uh, approve the And I second. We have a motion from Ms. Evans to approve. We have a second from Mr. Page. Any other discussion on the motion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like so. Approved. Agenda item six, for your consideration, uh, we have discussed these uh, earlier, and of course this, we're going to, would, we'll, we'll conjoin a and B together. This is your video arraignment for the Magistrate and Juvenile Court contract, the Enterprise and Backup Storage Solution. At this time, what we have are the the uh, work orders. The uh, what we'd like to get is a motion to approve and ratify the purchase orders. Mr. Chairman, if I can clarify one thing, the commissioners have in front of them purchase order 13-12. 545, which is with Carousel Industries in the amount of $26,612.07. I have the purchase order with all of the applicable attachments here. You have before you the purchase order. Uh, most of the attachments were in your notebook behind 6A. The second purchase order you have is 1312. Five four six with how do you pronounce that? Valentine in the amount of fifty four thousand six hundred ninety five thousand. You have that purchase order. The relevant attachments were in your notebook behind tab six A. I have the entirety of the purchase order with all the attachments. It's these two purchase orders that are before them. I would suggest a motion to, to uh, approve, ratify, and authorize execution and issues of these two purchase orders. I concur. I'll make the motion. Do we have a motion? Do we hear a second? Second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none is approved. Agenda item seven is uh, County Manager's report, Mr. Britt. Mr. Chairman, um, as you are aware, we are required to set a date to uh, set a millage. Stephanie, would you give the commissioners the requirements on those dates so we can get a, a commitment for that? Um, based on your advertising requirements, um, if I have the information tomorrow morning on when you're going to have this meeting, you can have it as early as the 26th of July, um, but it has to be done and ready for the take, tax commissioner to take by July 31st. So I know that some of you are scheduled to be out of town, uh, but Mr. Chairman, with your approval, I'd like to get an idea if we can have uh, a quorum present for the 26th at 8.30. Can I see a show of hands that could be here for a quorum on the 26th at 8.30? Two. I'm good, sir. You're good? Yeah. Good. Mr. Marshall, you good? Yeah. Okay. So we would be able to have a quorum. We will set that in advertising. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Payton, clar clarification. We received, I don't have my calendar in front of me. We received an email today, Mr. Pritchard, from uh, Ms. Lovern. Is that the same date that was in that email that was sent out? No, so we were, Thursday? Trying, we were trying to do it on Thursday. We had to know by 12 today in order to set that. So this is the following day. This is on Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm specifically Okay. Good. Quick question. Is, it, is that the same that we have a meeting as well? Yes, sir. But we cannot... Uh, set hours until the Board of Education sets theirs. Their meeting is for the Wednesday. So we will have to do ours either Thursday or Friday. So now, the earliest we can do it is Friday. Okay. Just pencil me in. When I spoke to Paige earlier, I thought it was the 25th that I had. We originally tried the 25th, but we didn't get enough response back to be able to confirm. 
So we went ahead to, we had to move to the 26th. Yeah, I understand. I'm just saying I, I, was, I was for sure about the 25th. Okay. But, so, okay. So we should have. Okay, we had uh, one citizen to be heard, however. Uh, Ms. Deer, I appreciate you coming forward, but the request was turned in a little bit late. It needs to be turned in prior to the meeting start. But I'll be glad, more than glad to speak with you as soon as it's uh, soon as our meeting's over, which is just an end. Okay? All right. Any other items? Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Have a motion, we have a second. Second. We have a second. Adjourn.